Hello everybody, welcome back to Gruesome's Garage. I wanted to make this video, it's a little tough because I have worked the last six days in a row, 12 hours a day. And <laughs> it was so bad the other day, I was so tired, I got to work and didn't realize it was St. Patrick's Day and I'm part Irish. But um, I got a day off tomorrow, so I'm going to enjoy that, sleep in maybe a little bit. The reason I'm making this video is I was unaware of it because I've been so busy, I've not been on YouTube lately, but there's all this controversy about the other 36 terror playing on YouTube, and that is from Bad Chad. His uh, channel, he bought a 36 terror plane recently, and he asked his subscribers what they, you know, what he should do with it. I think he always had it in his mind he was going to customize it, but um, they end up, you know, a lot of people offer their opinions, and then I guess there's some controversy, so he put it up for, you know, anybody that wanted it for $10,000, which he knew nobody was going to pay $10,000 for that car. If I was to sell this one today and it's a running, driving example, I would probably ask ten grand in its current, ten to twelve grand in its current condition. Nobody's going to pay that for a car that needs a complete restoration that is not running. Um, probably if he'd offered maybe four or five, he may have had somebody inquire about it. But yeah, that's just you know how it is. I think he did that more or less so if somebody criticized him on his channel, people that are his fans would say, "Well, you could have bought it. You know, you could have saved the car." You know, whatever. That's that's his channel. And I, I made a comment earlier on there. It's his car. He can do what he wants with it. And basically, I wish him well. I mean, it's it's getting another terraplane on the road. Um, I might not agree with it, but, you know, that's his choice. Um, somebody may say, I'm a 76 Firebird. Well, why are you putting a four-speed in that car? It was originally an automatic from the factory because that's what I want to do with it. It's my preference. It's my car. So, that being said, I will promise you that I will not chop this car. This car is a family heirloom. My intention is to keep it the way it is. And I thank people for coming to this channel and the renewed interest in it. I promise you I will make more videos about the car and I will start working on it more. I mean, it's like I said, it's a running driving car. It just needs... It needs to be repainted and some odds and ends done to it. Um, I may change the rear gearing in it. And before anybody goes, well, wait a minute. You said you're going to keep the car all original. Try driving a car on modern roads at 45 to 50 miles an hour and see how many people are on your bumper so close that you can look in your rearview mirror and look right straight in their face. Because it happens with this car. It's not made for modern roads. Mainly because of the gearing of it. Um, putting 373s in from the stock 411, I think would be able to get me around the 55, 60 mile an hour mark. You're still going to be in people's way, but maybe not as much. Now, with that being said, I may upgrade the brakes on it too a little bit. It's got hydraulic brakes, but you plan your stops. Any car from the 30s, you plan your stops. Other than that, this car, I wouldn't hesitate to hop in and drive it to California. I'd bring some spare parts with me, but... It is one of the most dependable automobiles I ever owned. And, you know, like I told you in the previous video, we drove it all over the place. It spent multiple states and stuff. Now, getting back to the whole controversy with um, the other 36 airplane, you know, I know what he, I don't know what exactly what he told that guy. I mean, we weren't there, you know. At the end of the day, if the guy didn't want to sell, I mean, you sell a car, you don't know what somebody's going to do with it. You know, it, it becomes their car. I bought a motorcycle one time, a Triumph motorcycle, from a guy, and it was a newer Triumph, it was an 06 Scrambler. And he had a um, British uh, tank flag, um, a British flag, I'm sorry, I'm very tired, British uh, flag tank uh, cover on it. And I saw these red cam covers, which was General Triumph Assembly uh, accessory on eBay from a, a dealer. And I thought, man, that would go sharp with that bike. So I bought that cam cover, put it on there, and it did. It looked good with the uh, Union Jack. And the owner I bought it from, we were at a um, 
bike show at a uh, local stand, he come up to me and basically chewed me out for putting that cam cover on there. Said it looked like crap. And I says, Brett, I says, you remember when you sold it to me? You signed the title over to me and it became my bike. So at that point, I could do whatever the hell I want to it. I wasn't nice because he wasn't being nice. But it's a bad chance car. You may not agree with it, but he can do what he wants with it. And if you want to see an original 36 Terraplane, come on here. I will gladly make more videos about this. Or there's other ones on YouTube. There's actually a couple of them on there. Um, you know, go show those people some support too. I'm sure they would appreciate it. There's actually a 37 Terraplane pickup on there where the guy has an electric hand working. And he goes through the detail of it. And that's kind of a neat video. There's not a lot of electric hands that are still working on these cars. So... With all that being said, I'm going to go inside and probably go to bed. Um, like I said, I have tomorrow off. I'm going to enjoy my day off. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Have a great evening and God bless.